Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Dr. Rahman and welcome to District Endocrine. Today we are going to talk about what, it, what is adrenal fatigue. So, adrenal fatigue is a term used to label non-specific symptoms that are thought to be due to long-term emotional, mental and physical stress. So, symptoms of adrenal fatigue are believed to be fatigue, of course, um, body aches, sleep disturbances, uh, nervousness or digestive problems. Many medical conditions can be mistaken for adrenal fatigue, which include adrenal insufficiency, uh, Addison's disease, sleep apnea, fibromyalgia, depression, and chronic fatigue syndrome. Scientific and medical literature does not support the diagnosis of adrenal fatigue. Usually, patients have any other medical conditions that are causing these symptoms. Hence, most of the physicians and the endocrinologists do not agree with this particular diagnosis. Well, the next question on my list is, what is the theory of adrenal fatigue? So, according to the supporters of adrenal fatigue, uh, adrenal glands when exposed to long-term stress um, are unable to keep up with the production of cortisol hormone. Now, cortisol is a steroid-based hormone that, excuse me, that helps our body to deal with stress. Over time, the production is reduced and that leads to adrenal fatigue. There is no proven scientific research or a research paper to show that that adrenal fatigue theory is actually accurate. What is the difference between the adrenal insufficiency and adrenal fatigue? Adrenal insufficiency is a real medical condition when the adrenal glands are unable to produce sufficient amount of cortisol. It is either caused by the adrenal gland dysfunction or loss of pituitary gland. Uh, so in adrenal insufficiency, patients can have confusion, dehydration, weight loss, weakness, fatigue, dizziness, nausea, vomiting, abdominal pain. Sometimes they can have low blood pressure or low blood sugar. Adrenal insufficiency is diagnosed through several blood tests that can easily treat and it can easily be treated with a steroid based medication to replace the deficient hormone and that is cortisol. So there is no proven test to diagnose adrenal fatigue and uh, supporters of the adrenal fatigue usually recommend that it is diagnosed based on symptoms only. A few of them recommend checking uh, blood or saliva for cortisol. However, these tests are not based on scientific facts or with the proven research studies. These hormones are often checked out of context. For example, the level of cortisol may vary widely if checked at 8 a.m. versus 12 p.m. Now, these tests are done incorrectly and then there is a question about their interpretation. Many supporters of adrenal fatigue will encourage you to buy vitamins and supplements. Now, these products can be harmful as no prescription, as non-prescription um, vitamins and nutritional supplements are not regulated by U.S. Food and Drug Administration uh, called FDA which is a drug uh, regulatory authority by the government. Now, the supplements and the vitamins recommended for adrenal are not tested for their safety as well as their efficacy. And there is always a concern that the quantity and the quality of ingredients uh, may be harmful, even if you are purchasing it from a pharmacy. Now, physicians in particular, endocrinologists who are hormone doctors or hormone experts, recommend against the use of adrenal fatigue diagnosis and its treatment. It is strongly recommended to have your physician rule out all the underlying diseases that I just mentioned in this video previously and uh, as a possible cause of the symptoms. Um, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you with the next video. Thank you. Ciao. Thank you.